turning off. Oh, my cat's crying. Sorry, Zook. So my skin just kind of freaks out during this time of year. It doesn't really know if it should be dry or hydrated. It gets weird. And then during the winter time, it is full on just flaky and it annoys me. It itches and I don't like it. So this year I am like dedicated to keeping my skin hydrated and I'm gonna share with you some tips that I recently learned and it's actually been working so far. So let's go. So I have been so excited to film this video for you guys because Osea is an amazing brand with such great integrity. All of their products are vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, and made with organic seaweed. And I love the fact that they are so passionate about the ocean. I think it's so cool. When you read their bio and their family story online, you guys will know what I'm talking about. But it's awesome that they're a family company. And I was super stoked when they had asked me to try out their products because I had already used their sea toning mist, which I was obsessed with so when I was asked to try out the rest of the line I was like heck yes let's do it and now I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to order more products for them so I'm gonna show you guys what I have been using lately I love products that have a great story and the brand has an amazing story I'll link their website down below so you guys can check it out but it's a family-run company and all of their products are geared towards like the ocean and the love for the ocean and have algae in them and uh, nutrients that you would find in the sea like salt and things that are really natural and good for your skin so I've been using this line for about a month and I'm really liking it I like what it's doing for my skin the first product that I have been obsessed with is the essential correction complex this stuff is a little roller ball of joy I mean this thing is amazing it has a very strong smell like tea tree oil so it's a spot treatment and during my time of the month I tend to get hormonal acne which is kind of a new thing for me I don't know I guess a lot of people get adult acne and it's just like random little pimples but this stuff works really well I'll put it on before I go to sleep or right after I get out of the shower um, before I put on my makeup and they are gone within like a day so this stuff's awesome and I like the smell during the summertime, I spend a pretty decent amount of time in the sun and I burn so easily and on my cheeks and on my nose, I have some pigmentation and some discoloration from the sun and I started using this brightening serum and I put it on just in those areas after I get out of the shower and it's weird because within a few days, my color has really evened out. I don't know exactly why or how something that really impressed me about this brand is that they go based upon like ayurveda which is a type of um, holistic healing and so there's herbs and then the natural organic seaweed complex in here so this stuff has been working wonders and it has a great texture and you can use this for any skin type so so for a moisturizer, their Atmosphere Protection Cream is incredible. It's a lightweight moisturizer. It's made with 100% natural ingredients. And what's really nice about this is I stopped using a primer because this actually plumps up the skin a bit and you can fill in, or it fills in like the fine lines and wrinkles and you can use it under your makeup. And the smell is really clean and refreshing. It has like a very cotton smell to it and it works day and night and it's just really really great and it's not super heavy like a lot of wintertime moisturizers are so thick that I just feel kind of gross by the end of the day and this one keeps my makeup looking really really fresh can't you tell so once I want to take off my makeup for the day I've been using the ocean cleanser which is a very nice size bottle and you can use this for dry normal combination skin every every type of skin pretty much um, it smells really good Everything just has this refreshing scent. It's not overpowering and it doesn't smell like chemicals, which I love. It's a multitasking cleanser, removes dirt and impurities. It contains lime, cypress, juniper oils, leaves skin energized, organic algae provides rich mineral hydration, and gently removes makeup. Love it. It's so great. Like your skin feels so clean, not squeaky, not dry, not like you just put alcohol on your face. It's just really, really gentle, but it removes makeup, which is amazing. I wouldn't recommend putting it on your eyes, though, um, but definitely for face makeup, it's wonderful, so love it. So, like, two times a week, I will really heavily cleanse my skin, and before I was using, don't judge me, the St. Ives um, apricot scrub, 
and I found out that I should not be doing that because I'm basically just stripping my skin of every good essential oil and it's too abrasive and I needed to just like that. So this product is so unique. I've never tried anything like this before. It's the Ocean Cleansing Mud. When you put this on your skin, it's an exfoliant, but it's not rough. And I put it on my skin and I was like, how is this gonna exfoliate my skin? I don't understand. And then like five seconds into it, I was like, whoa, oh, okay, all right. It started tingling, but like really tingling. It doesn't hurt, but you're like surprised when it happens. And once you remove the product after a, few, a minute or so, your skin feels like there is air just like coming out of your pores. I can't even explain it. You have to try it for yourself. It's amazing. My skin was so clean and just felt amazing. I am afraid of this product, but I also love this product. And the smell is not too scary. It smells very minty. You kind of want to eat it like a junior mint. Um, it kind of looks like a junior mint brown. So if you have really oily skin, this is amazing. It helps to balance those impurities in your skin that create acne. Um, and I really recommend this if you're someone who struggles with that. My skin gets so my skin gets really dull during the winter time. I mean like dull, like the trees outside, like just dull. And last year I remember using all of these like brightening serums and nothing really did anything for me or like really worked. And and then I tried the white algae mask and all was solved. I mean this stuff is like, oh. So this is a brightening mask. It plumps and tones the skin and I only use this one to two times a week. You can even leave it on overnight if you'd like. It's not going to burn your skin or anything. Um, but this is an amazing product. It comes in this little push-up tube like that. I'm trying to see if you can see the bottom. It just kind of looks like gray clay. kind of feels like clay. Um, again, all their products, 100% natural. It's amazing. Highly, highly recommend this if your skin just kind of lacks luster during the winter time. It's awesome. So this one's pretty obvious, you're not supposed to take hot showers, and if you do take a hot shower, keep it under 10 minutes, but preferably use lukewarm water when you are bathing yourself. So when you shower, right after you shower, your pores are open and your skin is able to absorb the most at that time. So I recommend using some kind of oil. I preferably like coconut oil. You can use olive oil on your skin if you would like, but stay away from lotions. Lotions have a higher water content than they do a cream or an oil. So an oil is obviously 100% oil unless there's fragrance in it. That's going to be absorbed into your skin the best. A cream has a higher oil to water ratio and a lotion has a higher water to oil ratio. So don't be using lotion on your skin if you want to keep it hydrated. Go for the heavy stuff. If you have super, super dry skin, you can even use Vaseline, Crisco, vegetable oils. Those are like, whew, if you are like the type of person who gets like bleeding, scratchy skin, you can give it a try. Sounds kind of gross, but you can. For the lips, I like to exfoliate with a toothbrush. I just mix up a little bit of oil, preferably coconut oil. It's because it tastes better than olive oil, I think, if you're doing a sugar scrub. And you will just mix that with some sugar or salt apply it to your lips, take your toothbrush, exfoliate, and then use a cotton swab with warm water to remove it. And then when you're done, use something like beeswax on your lips or a product with lanolin. A lot of chapsticks have lanolin in it. It's just really hydrating um, Vaseline type of ingredient that keeps your lips nice and moisturized. So for your hands, it's the same thing that I told you before. Use a cream and not a lotion because that's actually going to work better on your skin as it contains more oil. If you want to take a more holistic approach to your skincare line, you can also use things like lemons. So I will cut up half of a lemon, I will sprinkle some sugar or some salt on it, and you can actually rub that like on your elbows and your knees as an exfoliator and it kind of just soaks into the skin, gets the impurities out while it's also exfoliating. So a new trick for my skincare routine has also been to use milk compresses, which is something that I never would have thought to do, but it makes so much sense because whole milk has a high protein content, and if you soak a cotton pad or a tissue into milk and use it on your elbows, you can use it on your face even, um, it just is a protein-rich ingredient that is good for your skin to absorb. You can also use Greek yogurt masks on your face like once a week. They contain lactic acid, which is a very non-abrasive way to exfoliate the skin. Okay, so my inner health coach is coming out, but you guys should be eating things that are high in omega-3 fatty acids. So we're talking avocados, flaxseed, 
fish, like salmon, sardines if you like it on your pizza. But things that are high in omega-3s are really good for your skin, a lot of nutrients, and just stock up on them during the winter time. Also vitamin C is amazing for your skin so that is everything from dark leafy greens like kale and collard greens to fruit like oranges and if you guys are curious on how to start incorporating more of those foods I'm doing a series on my Hale's Health Instagram which is all about a different veggie every single week. This week is cauliflower so you guys can check that out. Last week was spaghetti squash and I'm thinking about doing a kale and a Brussels sprout in the near future in case anyone was curious on how to eat more veggies in your diet. There's also the tried and true fruit and vegetable face masks, bananas, avocados. They're all really great foods that you can put on your face and eat them too. You should also be eating a lot of whole grains because they contain selenium and selenium is what gives your skin that like buoyancy elasticity. So things like quinoa, brown rice, sprouted grains, I love Ezekiel bread with toast with some banana or some avocado that you have left over from your face mask. So I hope you guys liked this video and learned a few new tips on how to keep your skin hydrated this winter. I know I'm going to be incorporating these because I don't want to be dealing with dry skin at all. Plus, I hope you guys check out the Aseal line. It's awesome if you are into natural skincare that you really want to see results. This is amazing. I'm going to continue to use this product, like I said, and try other products. If you have used them, I would love to know what your favorite product is or what you want to try. So I hope you guys are enjoying the last few weeks of November. Is it already past the halfway point? Whoa. So like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying your week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!